Welcome to the BTCC Online Championship, this is Karsten Tolkien. This is uh, round 5 at Fuji GT configuration, race 1. This is the start. Fuji is a beautiful track for port cars. It is a, a really wide track, but the racing line is quite tight, nevertheless. Here in the first uh, corners you can see all the cars are really close uh, and uh, it's really, really easy to tap each other. Now Carson is uh, trying to attack Madbin. Madbin, ooh, he turns into Carson, there is a bit rough from him. After this, this part there's a, a really strong break point. Here if you take the all right, then all tight in line you can get uh, a really good uh, output out speed now Brandon is leading and we, ha and we see some difficulties in the park Matt been uh, going a little wide touching grass Street King trying to attack Glen Holtz Carsten is uh, in second position right now behind uh, Street King that, that we are watching uh, riding there's uh, Ian Captain Madbin and Scan. Now Street King trying to pass Glenn, taking a very sh sharp uh, breaking point. The long stride, this is uh, a really important place. Here, being in the draft of the car in front of you can net you almost uh, half a second just on the stride or, or speed or on your lap time. Right now, Karsten has managed to pass Brandon, and he is in uh, first position. Brandon is fighting with uh, Street King and uh, Glenn Hulse right now. It seems that Karsten is trying to pull away from his uh, followers. In fighting here is really, really bad. Just fighting with other cars around you can uh, cost you over one second per lap. So it is really important to get rid of uh, slower cars and put yourself out of the fight. We are now following Skang and Rolo. Skang, uh, if I'm not mistaken, is driving with uh, quite a severe horsepower penalty. He's trying to pass uh, Captain Madbin. He seems that he managed. In front of... Oh! Captain. Rough again. Skang goes wide, tries to get back in the truck, uh, tries to attack again. Now, the strike. Four, five cards all together, just behind Carsten, taking each other's draft and uh, trying to enter the first corner. This is uh, something incredible. Some touches, taps here and there. Seems that almost all of them went a little wide there. Brandon was touched. Oh, Glenn Hulse on the green. Now we are on board with uh, Please Die, taking a look at the uh, Canyon, Glenn Hulse and Street King behind them, fighting each other. Street King is just a tiny little bit faster than the others in this uh, part of the track. Yes, he's trying to attack Glenn Hulse. They touch each other, Glenn has managed to keep his position, now there's a long stride. Skang DJ is trying to take advantage of the infighting. Let's see how it goes at the end of the stride. Ian and Cap and Canyon are fighting each other. Now on board with Street King, in front of them all the same drivers as before, all battling as usual. Oh, Scan trying to take Street King on the outside, now on the inside. Quite a beautiful battle, if you ask me. Let's see our next breaking point. Really close. Street takes a bit of uh, grass, loses uh, his car for a little time. He recovers, gets his position. Now Canyon Drifter is offline. No, just a joke. Let's see Skang again, trying to get in the draft. 
of the others to not be outgunned. Here, Ian and Canyon Drifter and Glenalf fighting each other again. Let's see. Ooh, touching each other. Ian and Canyon go wide. Glenn tries to take advantage of this. Canyon managed to keep his uh, third position. In front of them there's Karsten trying to take advantage of uh, all this uh, in fighting. It seems that he managed somehow to take something like uh, two seconds of uh, advantage right now. Ooh! Too bad for our Canyon Drifter. Went a bit all wide, lost uh, a lot of positions. Glenn Hulse, again, in fighting, always a bit wide there. So this is Karsten in first position, it's first fifth lap, and it seems, yes, yes, he picks. The leader is picking, it's first in the pits. This is quite risky from him. I think he just tried to cut the draft for his follow for the cards following him. Let's see if he'll, if his bet is lucky or not. Meanwhile, these are the drivers that choose not to stop and take points for the lead or expected to have uh, a faster laps now that they are no more in the fight. We are on, we are watching uh, Street King right now, followed by Glenn Hals and Skang. Kenge has managed to put together a really good uh, race so far. Right now in third position. He managed to stick to Glenhals and tries to attack him. There's some difference between the two. Not exactly the same lines for each driver. For each, driver. each driver tries uh, to take these uh, two free corners uh, with a different line. Difficult to tell which is uh, the fastest. I think uh, it just depends on how worn are the tires. Let's see what they'll choose to do. Skang and Street King pick. It seems like Glenn Halsey is passing the, the starting line in first position right now, taking points. Behind him there's a, a red car, I think that is Canyon Drifter, that uh, haven't pitted yet. Now it's time for this two to get in the pits. The pit window is closing. Yes, they both pit. Behind them there's Brandon, he has to pit too. That is Karsten, getting on the uh, final stride, followed by Street King again. Let's see if he'll manage to keep, to keep up to his uh, previous position. Right now he's in fourth position, passing on the stride. Yes, yes, he managed his first. Let's see behind, Ayan is there. Followed by Street King and Glenn Hulse, I think. This is battle for second place. Let's take a look a little behind. It is Brandon, True Blue and Captain, Ma Captain Madbin. Brandon is ahead of the of this tree right now. They are really close. Certainly, certainly there will be there's going to be some attack from uh, True Blue. Let's see. Brandon goes in the grass, has a bad acceleration. True Blue tries to get in the inside, fighting side to side. Seems that Brandon manages to keep his position for now. Now on the approaching the final straight. Brandon, True Blue and Kaplan McBean. Mm -hmm. 
draft is starting to take to get into effect. True Blue getting really, really faster now. He's about to pass Brandon. Yes, he goes on the outside. Let's just see if uh, Brandon manages to keep it the shorter line. He touches with the uh, True Blue, nothing major. But Captain Madbin ma manages to pass both. He took a, a wider line but faster in the end while the other two were fighting. Now some other uh, touches amongst them. Now ball with True Blue. Let's see what he's doing, uh, Captain Madbin. To be quite faster right now through blue approaching the break point he goes to the half x uh, he's a bit wide he just captain Mabin was a little wide through blue manages to take take the inside and pass him final strike final uh, turn before the strike for this free captain may been really wide It might not be the battle for first or second, but beautiful battle nevertheless. True Blue attacking Captain Madbin. Going for the inside. Yes, really clean. Captain Madbin was a little late in breaking and was back and it's passed from by Brandon too. Now we are back with the uh, Glen Hals, Ian and Street King. Battle for second place. Glen taking some defensive lines. Castle is not too far away. Now we are on board with Street King approaching last corner before the stride different lines Glenn goes a little too wide manages to get back in the track Street King trying to take as much as possible draft from Ian it's going to be quite a battle at the end of this stride let's see Ian breaks early, Street King goes for the inside, Glenn a little wide, all right racing side by side, I am trying to push on both of them. Beautiful battle guys, keep it up. Street King on the inside of Glen Hulse. That was a quite a surprise move from him. They touched each other since that the fight is not over yet. This part of the track is uh, quite contact heavy. No, not some driver's uh, fault to say so, but it's just that uh, the lines are crossing uh, something like three, four times each other. Behind these two, these three, sorry. There's uh, Skang DG and Canyon Drifter fighting for what is fifth place. We are approaching the final lap. Any mistake now can be quite important and might be not able to be recovered. Carsten away from the fighting, getting a bit more of advantage. Ian trying to keep his uh, second position, takes a tight line to avoid draft. Street King seems to... Oh, a mistake from uh, Ian. Uncolored for Street King tries to go to the inside, he thinks uh, he'll pass easily. A again a little wide Ian. Lenard is just there watching both. I think he's trying to get draft on the last try to pass them let's see last corner K 
Canyon and Scan getting really close thanks to the fighting of these three. All line and up is the last chance to pass. Ian is taking Street King draft. Will he manage to keep to steal his position? Yes, he managed, but after the finish line. So, Street King is second, Ian third. That was a great race. Greetings from Carton. See you on next race.